Oh. Hunter Mirror. Pretty sure that's also Face Hunter. Don't think there are much better Hunter decks currently than the Face Hunter. Let's keep these three. So it is Face Hunter. Option one is just to play Dwarven Sharpshooter. Hope it will stick until the next turn so we can clear off his Shima. Option two is just to play Demon Companion, but I feel like I would, I would play this. Or I can coin out this also. And now it's almost guaranteed to survive. What is your turn, Mr. Okay? Will he trade or will he go face? Yeah, he goes face. Option one, we can hero power, trade with the cub and then trade with our sharpshooter into one of his cubs. Option two is to play this again, trade. Yeah, I feel like this puts more pressure on the board. So let's just do this. And we can play second sharpshooter. We'll try to out pressure him on the board. Next turn we can play these three. If necessary we can also hero power something and play like demon companion. Oh wow, he kill commands my sharpshooter. That's a lot of respect from his side. There's our card draw. Nice, and here I think we will just play out these three cards, put more pressure on the board and also empty our hand for this little guy. Sure. I don't believe face hunters are running Unleash the Hounds. I mean, I don't run it, but maybe this guy does. But I doubt it. Okay. Let's see what this secret is. Back tactics, okay. I mean, I will play my own reader here. There's my toxic reinforcements. A little bit late, but could still find its place. Face Stalker. So he runs pack tactics. Interesting. I really don't know what this could be. If I play reinforcements first and then hero power, it could be pressure plate. Let's actually attack with this first. Okay. Do I want to risk it with the pressure plate? Or no? It could be explosive. I mean, I'll risk it. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was afraid of. Unlucky. Okay. Second reinforcements. I can just I can just slam Dragon Bane here and hope it kills off some of his bigger targets. I can also play double Wolper Tinger. Hero power, but that is off the mana curve. I'll just slam Dragon Bane. Good target. And he has to clear this. Okay. Fine. 
has no more secrets left. Yeah, he has to clear this. Well, does he? I mean, if that's freezing trap, it could be a little bit awkward for me. Next turn, my leopard gnomes will rise, so that's good. Oh, he's, uh, he's going face. Tracking. Let's just hero power first. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, it's freezing. Explosive is pretty nice here. Play this. And play this, this too. Problem is, this is definitely explosive. I don't believe he's running misdirection. So he could trade awkwardly for me. I mean, with Dragon Bane in hand, I, I'm i kinda in the lead. These three are six damage also. Okay. Okay, so that's definitely explosive. Okay. So I can clear off everything, play Dragon Bane Hero Power. I don't know what saves him here. Not this guy. So I attack with this, yeah, this is lethal. Jaina, Lady Jaina, so this is most likely Tempo Mage, it could be Turtle Mage also, but I feel like in both cases we are pretty favorite. Should we keep the bow? Eh, let's keep it. There's our little reader to give us card draw. Let me work my magic. Just the fact that we have this hero power gives us an advantage over any mage deck. Okay, so we'll kill it off. So we can just put face stalker on the board. Next turn we can play reinforcements plus the hero power. Solarian. And brain freeze. Okay. Well, rip rip face stalker, I guess. We have to trade with the bow here. Cram session for one. Always love to see that. Intrepid Initiate. So we can actually play Initiate. Wolpertinger. Toxic reinforcements and coin out the hero power. You fight me, you get burned. That's pretty bad. But this was a pretty nice draw. We can do this. And draw two cards. Next turn, our leper gnomes will rise. Problem is he's on 28. We didn't deal that much damage to him. He wasted two cram sessions though. And if he doesn't find a way to clear off my reader, we should be in a good position. Never mind. Second brain freeze. I think I will clear this Azure 
Azure Explorer. He's pretty nasty with Raz, for example. So clear off the Drake. Kill this. And play this one. Sorceress. Here it comes. Please don't have something like evocation. Okay, that's fine. Let's draw first. Okay, Stalker. Clear off this. <coughs> we got pressure plate. I mean, let's play around Raz and buff this. He has a random dragon, a random spell, and two unknown cards. Okay, second lab partner. Wow. That only random spell was a flame strike. Unbelievable. Created by, by the way. Second reader, Dragon Bane. There's the Mana Giant. There's a reader also. Mana Giant is not a problem because we have Freezing Trap equipped, but this reader draw was really, really good. There's a Dragon Bane. Double Tour Guide is kind of meh, but the reader draw was, was, was quite good. Yep. Bye bye. You fight me. Okay. You get burned. There's evil. Turn it up. Learn draconic. Okay. Magic trick. Wow. He got a little a, a lot of cheap spells. Are you kidding me? So we need explosive. Kill command. We'll save that for later. Kinda, kinda expected. I guess we'll trade one of these. Should we play second tour guide for the tempo? I mean, sure. It changes nothing if we keep it in the hand. Another good dragon. Discovered. Demon companion. He has 16, 17 damage, even with the beast drawn. Yeah, yeah, this is just, yeah, this is over. We can't do anything. This flame strike that he got, the only spell that he got from the, from the mana cyclone, and it was flame strike. 